Vincent van Gogh, lived from 1853 to 1890, was a famous Dutch artist. He is known for his unique and personal style of painting, and for being one of the founders of Impressionism. Although he did not enjoy great recognition during his lifetime, today he is considered one of the most influential artists in the history of art. Welcome to Culture in Short, where you will learn a little about everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. Van Gogh began his career as a painter late, at age 27, and had a life filled with emotional and financial ups and downs. In his works you can appreciate the intensity of his emotions and his love for nature. One of his most famous works is the series of sunflower paintings, which represent the beauty of nature and the transience of life. In addition to his unique style, Van Gogh is also known for his stormy personal life, including his struggles with mental health. It is believed that Vincent Van Gogh took his own life, but it is a myth, the truth is that the children and young people of the town made fun of him because he had no ear, one day a couple of them playing hunt in the field that he was painting shot, by accident. Despite the tragedy of his death, his artistic legacy has inspired many artists and fans of popular culture around the world. Vincent van Gogh suffered from various mental disorders throughout his life, including bouts of depression, anxiety, epilepsy, and psychosis. At the time, these conditions were not well understood and there were no effective treatments. Some experts believe that Van Gogh may have suffered from bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. However, since his diagnosis was made after the fact, it is not possible to be absolutely certain about his condition. Vincent Van Gogh cut off his ear, the reason for which is unknown and has been the subject of much debate. There are several theories about what could have motivated this act, such as mental problems, relationship problems with his friend and artist Paul Gauguin, and even a possible ear infection. Van Gogh never spoke directly about the reason for the incident and left few written records of it, which has led to speculation and mystery surrounding this episode in his life. Vincent van Gogh painted more than 800 paintings and 1,600 drawings in 10 years, in his life he only sold one. To date, his most expensive painting has been auctioned for $111 million, Portrait of Joseph Rulin, 1888, which is currently in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. Vincent van Gogh created many notable paintings in his lifetime, but some of the best known include The Sunflowers, from the year 1888 The Starry Night, of the year 1889 The Bedroom in Owls, from the year 1888 Self-Portrait Without Beard, from the year 1889 The Yellow House, from the year 1888 Portrait of Joseph Rulin, from the year 1888 These works, along with many others, have influenced art history and are considered iconic in the world of painting. Vincent van Gogh mainly used the technique of oil painting on canvas. He also experimented with other techniques such as watercolor and pencil and ink drawing. In his work, he is characterized by the intense use of color and expressive and energetic brushwork, which gave his paintings a vibrant and emotional effect. In addition, he also used the impasto technique, in which he applied thick layers of paint to create texture and depth in the work. Vincent died in the arms of Theo, his brother, on July 29, 1890, Theo died at six months of sadness, as they were very very close. Theo's wife decided to bury them together. And it was she who ensured that the world recognized Vincent's art, she collected all the letters, all the works and achieved the Van Gogh dream. What do you think of this artist? Were you familiar with some of the charts and data I just gave you? I read you in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more videos of culture in short.